Welcome to episode 81 of the Liberty Dad podcast, where we prepare for tomorrow's political conversation by how we engage today. I'm your host, DL, and this episode is Libertarians on 25 Issues, Civil Liberties. If you're new to the show, liberty represents the message of all your freedom all the time, and dad represents the delivery. Recognizing tomorrow's conversation with my son is determined by how I engage with him today and then applying that to those around me. I'm taking the concept of a dad that can speak on many different topics and applying it to liberty. But speaking is not enough. It's important to be informed and speak in a manner that invites people to seek out your opinion in the future. This season, I'm joined by local Libertarian City Council candidate Jerry Rohrbaugh, known to many as Pastor Tubb or just Tubb. Pastor Tubb, a father of three, shares the same vision I do when it comes to communicating liberty. Prepare for tomorrow's conversation today. This, the theme for season three of the Liberty Dad podcast is Libertarians on 25 Issues. Each episode will focus on one of 25 different if, uh, issues from a libertarian perspective. I got the idea from the book Introduction to the Libertarian Party by Wes Benedict. In the next hour or so, you'll become more informed how libertarians view civil liberties. And in the end, toward the end, we'll discuss leadership. With that, let's dive right in. Pastor Tubb. Hey. We're back. We are. Again. Okay. And we have better lighting this time. We, we do. We All do. Right. It's a bright light. You don't see it on my right side, but that's okay. We'll work on it. Okay. Um, <laughs> tiny little room here, everyone. So just, I need people to calm down where you are right now it, about the lighting. It will all be okay. It will all that come together. I am the only one that worries about. Okay. Because <laughs> nobody else noticed it. Nobody, nobody does. Does. Everybody's like, oh, they're like, wow, Fair that's enough. a problem. Okay, wow. All right. You shouldn't have said anything, man. Nobody would have known. Right. That's truly right. the idea of nobody would have known so, had you not said anything. You know, I'm all about transparency. I keep saying mm-hmm. that all the time. I'm so transparent. I will tell you when I stole the cookie from the cookie jar without you ever having to ask. No, that was my little brother. He did that. I, was gonna say, <laughs> I, totally, I totally was not that way. I'm saying nothing. Right. All right. So, we are so, civil liberties. We're talking about civil liberties today. So what is this book? So, you know, if you're watching, the, if you've been watching the show, you know that what we're doing is we're taking, um, uh, you know, idea, uh, uh, 25 issues from this particular book. And we're talking about it in more in depth. And what the book does is it writes like a sentence or two about the particular um, topic and then lets it go. It's, it, you can go to chapter three. Like legit, just, let's, let, you'll put it up here on the screen, I'm sure. Yep, I'm, I'm it, it, this is all that's put about. There it is. Right, so we're getting ready to put it up on the screen here. So here's what here's what the book says about civil liberties, and then we're going to go ahead and expand on it. So it says, Libertarians support civil liberties and oppose legislation like the so-called Patriot Act, which gives the government power to spy on Americans without a warrant or arrest them and hold them without trial. So that's what it says. Pastor Tubb, what do you got? Okay, so like I said, that they throw that at you, and like you like said, Best of luck to you. You go from right. here. All right. So I, I'm just going to tell you right now. I, I I even put right here that I have this jumbled mess of notes. Okay. And with that, I, I think I have to be very cautious to make sure that we remember that we're talking about civil liberties, not civil right. rights. Right. Because I think sometimes people try to mix those together and they're not. They're correct. very different. Right. So we're not going to focus, and maybe in case they're unaware, like we're not going to focus on civil rights because civil rights are basically the right that between no race, religion, or sexual orientation, right. thing along those lines, you cannot be judged off of those right. type of things. So what we're focusing on, civil liberties, he mentions the Patriot Act. And, right. and, and so as when it happened, like I'm, I guess I'm old enough mm-hmm. to remember when the Patriot Act happened. Right. And it's funny that how fast they can sometimes get legislation to go through. It's yeah. Like you, like I, like I was looking at that, I, and I, and I kind of studied up a little bit more on this yesterday because we always have our beliefs of the Patriot Act. I'm like, let me get some information, like real, not just right. arguing. Um, it took roughly six weeks. To get that, to get right. that supposedly written and passed, and, and I kind of wondered inside of this, like, how often are they writing legislation? Right. They're letting it sit, waiting right. for the time. Oh, yeah. that this just might work. So, in um, one of my prior episodes on uh, one of the bill reviews, I think it was, um, uh, it might have been the, um, uh, the uh, Obamacare. Okay, I think that was the one that was like really, really long, like yes, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred pages, mm-hmm. or some some insane that was, number. Of we got pages. to pass it so we could see what's in it. Yep. Yes. And I did a count on like how many pages and how many words um, there were, and then I kind of compared that to the average um, reading time of yep. an adult. And the how average, long it probably would take? Them. How and, long did? And, and it was like it would take them like I don't know, I can't remember the de- the details now, but it was like you know five 
weeks and, and one like, person just like, sitting there typing that, yes, if uh-huh. they knew exactly what but that, that that excluded any debate that excluded any referencing that excluded yeah, that, that was just literally straight. just typing as if you knew exactly everything that you were going to say word for word and, you and know so it makes you wonder like how how long like how many times are they really like they're right. just waiting for something? Well, when we get these ominous bills, and I know this is not our topic, right. but I know they get these ominous bills, and then what they do right. is they have this stuff that they want, right? And they'll shove it in there, even right. has nothing to do with the bill itself, right. but that's how they get things through. Right. Okay, so back to the Patriot Act because right. I do have some stuff about Patriot Act before we get into the other stuff of it. Look, Can't be bad, right? Look at this. Look, it's all good stuff, right? Oh yeah, Patriot Act is a very positive oh, thing yeah. for us. Yeah. All right, so here's what I get by. It's a direct quote. The poll also finds um, that 54% of Americans say it's sometimes necessary for the government to sacrifice some rights and freedoms to fight terrorism, compared with 64% a decade a decade ago, and now it's saying 44% say that that's never necessary at all. Wow, we're wearing us down. Exactly. So the people are starting to come around and go, wait, wait a minute, wait. wait. Why are we allowing them to take that? Because remember the complaint inside the Patriot Act turned into one that said, hey, um, we're basically going to take your, your some of your rights away from you. Right. And, and so I think that that's what they were focusing on. Um, and the idea was that it was supposed to expire at different points. It was initially right. like 2005. It was just, okay, we're going to kind of get rid of this. We're going to kind of right. phase out and then extend it on. And they've kept extending it on to now there's a number of permanent things right. that have kind of held through. And, and what it really does, I think, is part of the problem is it, get, it just gives this broad power. Right. It's very just kind of, hey, here's what we have, and you can do anything right. you want inside of here. But by keeping it broad, it, it gives them a lot of freedom to kind of decide what direction they want to go in with right. it. Right. So, and so it gives them freedom while it takes from us. From us. It's mm-hmm. interesting. Okay. Yeah, see how that works? All right. So here's what I realized, and maybe I'm cheating. I'm going to whatever we need to do. So civil liberties, mm-hmm. when you look at it, I started kind of – so it's basically civil liberties fall under – the Bill of Rights, right, for one through ten, and then basically thirteen and fifteen right. also, right. Okay, so okay. We're, we're agreeing that that's our premise, right, of civil liberties. Okay, which you know we can look on here: right to yep. privacy, right to jury trial, right, right to freedom, all those right. type of things. So, do we? How do we want to attack these? Do we want so to attack these? Let's read this definition. So, okay. I got this definition, um, and I don't have it prepared to put up on the screen, so I'm just going to read it uh, out loud. But I, I simply went up and I looked up civil liberties because mm-hmm. I wanted to see. What is a formal definition? Yeah. Right. I like, always like to work with a formal one first, and then if we disagree, we can go from there. But this formal definition, this is from Cornell Law. It says civil liberties are rights guaranteed by the Constitution. Um, and then it goes on and says they have been described as natural rights, which are inherent to each person. While they are commonly referred to as rights, civil liberties actually operate as restraints on how the government can treat its citizens. As such, the First Amendment's language, Congress shall make no law, explicitly prohibits the government from infringing on liberties, such as the freedom of speech. So there's a, there's a lot packed in there. We're not going to try to tackle everything in there. I know there's some things about like natural law, natural rights. Right. And all this stuff. But basically, if you're watching and you're not familiar already with civil liberties, you can think of it as these are things that the government has a limit or some sort of restraint on how it can restrict it from mm-hmm. you. So you have the right to free speech. However, the government can come and say, well, you started uh, you, 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 you started walking pa- behind this person talking about as soon as you get over here, I'm going to kill you and stab you, right? So therefore, we're going to arrest you. Right. You no longer have this, you know, like it's that was... In, slightly it, infringed upon. It, it, right. Like, what did it stop it? Like, you had the freedom but... of speech, but we're going to restrict it in this particular case, Mm -hmm. right? But the government's limited. You know, if you were to say something like, man, I hope you die. Well, okay, that's unpleasant. You shouldn't (laughs) shouldn't be saying that. But the government has no right to say, hey, you can't tell people that they die. That's not something that they can't, they're going to restrain you on. So, but here's the thing. So I was taking this from the other side of, okay, here's the, what they can't. I was thinking in my mind, what ways are they though? Right. Like I, I kind of, as I was attacking it, like, dude, they're not supposed to be doing this. Right. And, and so, like I said, as I looked at the type of things, there are certain things that we can look at specifically and we can go, wait a minute. It seems like they really are infringing right. upon some of these civil liberties that right. I have. And, and like, okay, so some of these, I think we can just kind of be like, nah, we're kind of okay. If we were to take, say, the right of freedom of speech. Right. We could easily see where that's being infringed upon now. Right. Now, here's my question, though. 
it's very clearly set up that the government cannot do this. Right. But are we getting limited by people doing it? You know what I'm saying? Right. That we have people limiting our freedom of speech. Does that not apply then? Because the because what it's saying otherwise, it's the government right. cannot. So is there a difference there? I think there is when they are not backed by the government. Okay. Like what? So um, if, if I go to the store mm-hmm. and they say, hey, when you come into the store, uh, let's say it's Hobby Lobby. Okay. Hobby Lobby, we know, has some religious affiliation. They, they do indeed. And so imagine if they had a sign, and I don't think they do, but imagine they had a sign that said no profanity. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that in that particular case, they are permitted to uh, to say that because okay. it's their property. They can say, hey, yep. there's no profanity in here. Mm-hmm. Um, but if they were to support a bill okay. that said, hey, on Sundays, you can't use profanity in any organization or you can't use profanity ever. I was going to say, can I, as the pastor, say, no, we can't use that at all? Can, right. I, can I just throw that in there? Right. Okay. All right. So like if, 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 but if, but if they were to say like, Hey, we can't, uh, we, we want this bill that, that restricts people mm-hmm. from using profanity in a place that has an established relationship with the church. Okay. Right. Like it's, it's, it's a made up bill. I'm totally being facetious with right. this. Like making but keep, this keep, Yeah. You've already traveled but, down the road. Keep going. But, with but this, but this, I, you know, but the idea is like, that's when it becomes backed by government. Right. right? Because now the, the government is the one that's actually doing the enforcing mm-hmm. and the, um, what ends up happening is the company could just point and say, well, well it's the government. It's not really rules. our fault. Like, I mean, we're just like, following the law. Uh-huh. Right. So they, so they kind of, um, they shield themselves from the repercussion of the market. Okay. Right. And this, so this is when I think that it's inappropriate. When you're not shielded from the repercussions of the market, when you have to deal with whether the market likes that like, decision mm-hmm. or not, then I think it's absolutely appropriate, provided that um, that you're exercising your own right. So in this particular case, they'd be exercising the right of property ownership. So right. therefore they could make that they right. Did. And they can say, "Look, if you want to be on our property, you have to agree to these." And rules. people can then choose. Right. Well, I'm gonna. I, right. I feel like cussing all the time. I'm, right. I'm not gonna go into Hobby right. Lobby. Right. Okay. So, um, and I'm sorry, Hobby Lobby. I know that you know the CEO is probably not probably watching. He's probably all about this. He's probably like, "Dude, we're like, on. We like, made oh, it. Is that, we made the Liberty Dead podcast. Is that all we had to do? Is get a bill passed? These no. guys in. Um, so, but uh, you know, so I, I'm just pointing them out just to kind of make up an example off the, off the cuff, where you know you might see. It's okay so, in one aspect, but not okay in another what, what one, even happens, though the same thing's happening. What happens when we start determining or we lessen the standard for it? Um, because what, okay, so we have the right to be free from cruel and unusual punishments. Right. Okay. Some of them could say, and whatever side you sit on, that the riot on January 6th, the people who have been detained for that, that some people are saying, whoa. Right. The conditions that they have them living in. Right. Or you know, they're unacceptable. Right. And they're like, no, no, we're okay. Like, Here's what we start running into, like, oh no, we're we're not, you know, we're not right. water bordering him or something, right? But what happens when we get to those gray areas where we're not I think, stopping it, but yeah. we're not really um, following it either? I think it's interesting because I feel like society is becoming, for lack of a better word, less barbaric. Okay. Right. So it used I to be that sissified, but okay. Um, it used to be that you might be in stockades out in public, out in the rain, and uh-huh. getting tomatoes thrown at you. Yeah. Right, we would not dream of doing something like that yeah, today. Yeah, you're right. Um, and uh, you know, and, and the conditions in jail, like probably very, there weren't organizations that were like, "Hey, man, you can't treat prisoners like that," because I don't think most people cared. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you know, but I think that now we're at a point where we're like, "Look, maybe you don't need TV with all the channels." You know, and we're dealing cable. with now. We're dealing with a level right. level. You don't need that. Maybe. You don't need that. Uh-huh. Um, and you know, maybe you don't need. Uh, 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 I'm trying to think of the terms as, as fast as I'm. You know, I'm trying to think of the words as fast mm-hmm. as I'm thinking the thought, right. the ideas. And it's not coming to me. But maybe you don't need memory foam in your jail cell. You right. know, on your on your cot or whatever. Um, but maybe you need this, right? So so we're getting to the point where we're where we're we're not quite going all out and saying, hey, you need luxury. But maybe we don't need to just give you a board and right, a, and a, like and a I, rock cell. Like, like I, I, I do remember cell. I spent two separate one indivi- individual nights in jail. Right. And I slept off of a metal 
platform basically coming out of the wall right, right next to the toilet. You know, that's right. kind of how that was. And right. nobody was, you know, there was nobody right. there defending me, but hey, give the guy a cushion. Like right. none of that was happening. Right, right. There's, so there's a limit. But if you had been in jail a thousand years ago, it would have been substantial. I'm like, dude, I'm not on the floor. Like, right. this would have been great. Right. You know? Right. So, so I think there's a certain level that we're... So what happens know. when we get into, oh, let's say our right to bear arms? Okay. Okay, now what happens when we see the government's kind of like, well, you don't really need that, or you don't need this kind of weapon. Right. And, right. They're, and they're going to hold to the fact right. of, well, I'm not saying you can't. Right. Like, I'm not infringing on your civil right. liberty to have a gun. So I think, I think those are two good things to compare against, right? Okay. So, so what I was just describing... Um, gives it uh, makes it more advantageous mm -hmm. to the person in question. So if I get put in jail, and we're you know, and, and we're like, hey, you can't exert cruel and unusual punishment on him. Cruel and unusual punishment has become a little bit. Uh, we we've become nicer in what yes. we consider to be cruel and unusual. Mm -hmm. So so it actually is not in the government's favor in that sense, right? Because right. they can't be as harsh. Right. So it's so it's in favor of the person that's supposed to be protected. Yeah, they're the ones who are benefiting from right. it. Yes. Which I think is appropriate. Yep. As long as we're moving in a direction where we are still protecting the person that the the that from the, government from basically. government mm -hmm. that the bill or the the you know the, the you know in this particular case the bill bill of rights that the um the item is supposed to protect as long as it's protecting them continued and that's the focus protecting this person mm -hmm. i think it's appropriate to to move um the 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 goalpost a little bit it's say okay cruel and unusual punishment now means this right like like it used to mean hey we're not going to um we're not going to put you out in the sun without any water and let the crows peck your eyes out. Okay. You know, we're not going to do that, but we're not necessarily going to give you memory foam in a, in your, in your, um, in your jail cell All either. Right. So right now drag us we, over we, to we, bare arms. So now bare arms. I think that when the government says, well, you don't really need that. What, what's happening is the opposite. Now it's beneficial to the government. It's beneficial to the government, and uh -huh. it's no longer it's it's taking away the protections slowly. It's chipping away yep. at the protections of the person that this rule was intended to protect in the first place, mm -hmm. right? So to me, that represents a problem. And so when I look at civil liberties, I say we should always be looking at: Are we moving the needle more toward protecting the, the person that was supposed to be protected or, or are we yeah. moving it away? And, and I think that right now, in, in, okay, so like you're saying- in, I was in really the, worried about that. What's that? So, I was worried about that. Oh, worried, so yeah, you, you got there, you got, got there. I got it. And, and so, but no, I think you're right is that once again, we have to favor to the side of the people. Right. Okay, we default to the rights of the people. Right. Okay, so let's take another one while we're at it. Uh, let's do your right to peaceful assembly. Okay. Okay. So we can see now where we're starting to lose some of that. Correct. Like, but once again, their argument is, well, we're not telling you you can't. Right. We're just telling you do it like this. Right. What's the difference? Uh, I think the difference is that it's a nice way of saying you have a little bit less. Exactly. And so when do we that's, start? That's really what it is. When do we start looking at this and go, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have constitutional rights. And, and yep. you know me, I like the Constitution. Yeah. And we can, you know, I, I like it. I think it's a great line to say, hey, this is where we're going from. Um, and we well, look that's what at we that. have. Yeah, exactly. Whether people like it or not. I know some where of the trains don't. I know. What we have to work that, with. That's why I say that I know I like the Constitution. This is where we are. But the thing is, if you look at it, the intention of it, and, and libertarians will go crazy, the intention was let's look out for the people because we know what right. government can do to them. Right. Okay. So inside us, when we start looking at it, when do we start going, wait a minute? We have constitutional rights that says you cannot do these things that you're currently doing to us right now. Right. Why, I guess maybe, why are we not fighting so hard? I think that people have become comfortable. I have a belief, and many, you know, you may or may not share it, but I believe that the, the more wealthy a society it gets, the further it gets from tyranny, but also the more willing it is to accept small amounts of tyranny and then small amounts of tyranny eventually add up i have a quote that's going to come up that's going to fit into right? it. go ahead mm -hmm. like so to me it's kind of almost i don't know if i would call it a vicious circle but it's basically um you know we get away from it so we don't we like people don't know what it was like to be in Brit great britain before people came over here to the to, to north right. america like they had no idea what what the founders and the colonists were fleeing from, mm -hmm. right? And so, I mean, we can read about it. We yeah. can read about a lot of things. 
But reading that, about that it, you experience it's, it. It's like as a dad, since it's Liberty Data, mm-hmm. you know, I could read about how to raise a child, but there are some, Ooh, some things. Try to go do it. Go right. ahead. There are some things. That's you, what that book said. You have to experience it to really get it. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, I can, you know, I mean, there are some things you can read about and you get it, but there's quite a few things that you can read about and you just don't get it. And I think that the more we get away from the loss of liberties, the easier it is for people to say, well, that's no big deal. And it's, it, it's usually always because of this. We have all this other stuff. All this stuff. And we're right. like, oh, but overall, now, okay, I want to bring one up real quick, and it could turn very ugly very fast. All right. Now. Okay. So fight. here's what I found out. I, I don't know about for us, but people, oh. I, oh, I don't know okay. how it's going to go. Okay. I'm bringing up the argument. I'm not saying which side I fall on. Let's, okay. Okay. About that. We're trying to drag it up. Okay. All right. So reading through, I realized that civil liberties mm-hmm. apply to everybody in the country. Okay. Okay. I, at first, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm, and I'm reading up on the screen. That can't be right. And, and here's what it's saying. The illegal immigrant mm-hmm. has the right to civil liberties. Mm-hmm. Uh, the person who overstays their visa has the right to right. civil liberties. So they all have civil liberty rights. If, I hate to say it that yes. way. Civil liberties. Okay. Yes. Um, so there's the right to vote is a civil liberty. Okay. So now is that saying that the ones who are here, even illegally, Now they have the right to vote because they have civil liberties that covers them for being here. So now New York City, I don't think it's a state, I think it's just a city right now, is saying they have illegal immigrants voting inside of their thing. And it's a big stink right now. But if we're going to look at that under the scope of civil liberties, Mm -hmm. there's almost an argument for it. And let me tell you something. I'm not saying, I'm not condoning, but I'm saying it's almost there. Right. So... How do we fight that? Because it, it, go by the general definition of mm-hmm. civil liberties, it extends out to everybody who's here. Right. So does the right to um, vote mean also for right. that? And and we would have to go back and we could pull it up if we wanted to. Right. But we would need to look up and see what does it say about the right to vote. Now, what's interesting is when you go and you look in the Constitution, and people have uh, made this point before, and I can't remember the specific numbers. Okay. But like the word citizen is only mentioned like twice. Okay. And the word person, I believe, is mentioned like, I don't know, 10 times or something like that. And people have said that this distinction is important and was important from the very beginning. Like it wasn't an accident. Right. And saying like, you know, a person has the right to self-defense, not a citizen. Not a citizen. Right. And I think it was probably very much um, intentional because the founders – one of the resources they used was the Roman Empire. Mm-hmm. And I do believe that the Roman Empire had um, basically certain rights that were granted to citizens and others that were not if you were not a citizen. Like right. if you were a citizen, you got like certain civil liberties were afforded to you that were not afforded There's... to people who were not. Okay. Like, so we have this idea. Like, and I, I think talk... we chose to do it differently and say we're going to be more expansive so, okay, so I, I, I often have this thing I tell people around the church and everything is that whenever you're reading the Bible, you always have to remember the original audience. Right. Okay, that always matters because they're always speaking to something specific, something right. that's going on, something that maybe we don't fully understand, but for them, it made full-on sense. Right. So what you're saying there almost kind of brings me to mind of that. In their situation of the time of writing, this is what they're saying, that there's a difference between, you know, citizen and person or something right. along those lines. So we have to kind of, I see you're, are you trying to look that up? Uh, yeah, there? I'm trying to pull it up Okay. Here. Um, and, and so inside of that, where do we sit? Because yeah, I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable right. with that thinking. I, I tend to believe, um, you know what, if you're a citizen in this country, dude, come on and vote. I want every, like I tell everybody all the time, you vote, even if you're not going to vote for the person I want you to vote for. Right. You know what I'm saying? You get involved. So what happens, and then if we look at this, this, hang on. You keep doing what you're doing then. But, okay. all right. So, I'm trying to hang on. No, no, then, you're fine. Okay. All right, so think of it this way. We we know that there's a certain flooding of people into the country. Now, right. we're not going to have the immigration talk again. Okay? Right. So let's say they're trying to take these civil liberties, and they go, hey, no, no, they have the right. Right. Now you can see where they're intentionally flooding, flooding certain areas, trying to make things, because now it does favor. Right. So now we took a civil liberty that's now working against. It right. seems like it's working for the people, right. but really- it's working right. for the government. Right. So now what do we do? Because it's not one that it almost looks like it's benefiting both. That right. People get a chance to vote. Right. But now the government can say, hey, wait a minute. Right. We can let these people come in because they tend yeah. to vote like I vote or something along those yeah. lines. So now what happens when the civil liberty seems to be working for the both? Right. And it's not infringing 
It's not kind of holding back government. In fact, they're using it to their benefit while people think that they're benefiting from it. Right. Which fine there. So um, apparently the 15th Amendment does okay. specify, mm -hmm. it says the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. That right. goes under civil okay. rights also. Okay. So, but it does clarify the right of citizenship. citizenship, right? And I know a lot of libertarians take issue with the whole idea of citizenship because the, these are the ones that are going to say, hey, you know, we're not, um, you know, we don't believe in closed, uh, in, a, in a border, um, you know, uh -huh. and, 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 and that gets into a much deeper argument, one which we're not going to try to approach here. So we'll just kind of leave it at this simple civil liberties. And but, say, but, but, if we're going by the, the current document that we have, the framework that is already put into place for us, right? Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. This is this is the framework that we have for right. the Constitution. Yep. That's what we have to work with. Yes. Now, if we decide that we don't like that particular framework or we want to make some amendments and change it, then, yes, we can have that Which conversation. Uh -huh. But for now, I'm going to operate on what we have to work with, the current makeup of our government. Because the reality is our Constitution— is the foundation for all of the laws that we have. Right. So if we're going to go and say, well, I don't like the Constitution, I think there's some big major problems and we should just chunk it, then that means all the laws become um, no Absolutely. longer applicable. Yeah, because they right? all have the premise and, of that. And, and, that's, mm -hmm. and, and again, that could happen as well. Right. But we're not there. We're not there. We are at the point where this is what we have to work with. So what we have to work with says specifically that it's the right of citizens. So it doesn't say the right of person. Okay. Right? But once again, though, so I think that's an overarching theme that says civil liberties apply to all, even right. to anybody who happens to be in here. So then does it make a difference whether it says citizens right. or persons? If it's been now by law, right. if it's been changed to say anybody who's in has that right. right what do you, right there. Um, so going back to that definition that yep. we were reading earlier, it said, while certain rights can be considered both a civil right and a civil liberty, the distinction between the two lies within source and target of the authority, right? Civil and liberties so, are constitutionally protected freedoms. Right. So I don't think we're denying that. Right. I think we're like, hey, we can't get away On the this. other hand, civil rights are claims built upon legislation. A violation of civil rights affords the injured party a right to legal action against the violator. So on and so see, forth. See if so, you can find some information that I found. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to do it while we're live. Not live, but, you know, recording. This is what we do. Oh, you, know, you need a producer. I do. I hey, need I need producer. To I need to, I need to uh, like, hey, no, man, look that up real quick. But no, send it to me. I, I found oh, a number of things that suggested that the extent to illegal immigrants overstate me right. that it says that. Right. So I'm like, okay, so if that's the case, then it's a civil liberty. They're here. Right. So now these all apply to them. So this would give, because here's the thing, if we're saying, hey, if illegal immigrants can come and they can peacefully assemble, say, give us our rights, we want to be citizens. Right. So we're like, okay, they did that, right. that's cool. Then all of them have to right. apply. When, when I look at, as I say, I distinguish between a right and a liberty, okay? Which, and, and I kind of go by the doc here. document yep. and I kind of and I kind of follow it and I say, look, a liberty, a civil liberty is something that the uh, that the government has a limit on on what it can do, right? Okay. So for me, I look at it and I say, okay, technically the way that it's written, the Second Amendment is a civil right and a civil liberty, which is because, it, because it's been it's it's been built in mm -hmm. what what limitations. Um, the government has, right? And, and and so on and so forth, some of the other ones in the Bill of Rights and whatnot. Um, but I look at it and I say, for one, when it's when it's both, then um for me, I guess I look at it and say, when it's both, the government actually has no right to limit it. Okay. So when both when well, I have I, a right. But but here's the thing is when we look at voting. But when I have a, just a liberty, uh -huh. then the government can Restrict it in some way, and I might oh, be I might be entangling myself here, and that's yeah, okay. Yeah, hang on. I would think that the liberty says government cannot. Right, right. A liberty right cannot. says they can right. mess with things a little bit. We okay. don't, as far as I know, nothing, nothing in the framework of our government says you have this right. Period. It's always you have this right, but okay, <laughs> right, mm -hmm. and so it kind of treats a right as a right and a civil liberty at the same time. Um. So I look at it and I say, so I have some disagreements. I would say that you have the right to self-defense, which means you can own any weapon that you want. We talked about that in a previous episode. Yep. And I don't believe that the um, uh, that the government can can stop you right. um, um, okay. from, from but owning any on. particular how, how firearm. Is the, do you see, you see that as a The right to civil vote, however. Right? But here's the thing. Uh -huh. the right, the, the, when you have a right, mm -hmm. it imposes nothing on anyone else. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't 
I don't necessarily think that it works that way with the right to vote because in order to have the right to vote, somebody has to count my vote. Somebody has to take my vote, right? Like, like there has to be all these things that are involved with it that are not involved in, say, the right to free speech, the right to fire. Okay, but, but here's what right? I'm saying, though. Except for the fact the Constitution says you have a – because right. I think we have to agree civil liberty is bigger than civil right. I think it's I think I think they're I think it's bigger. Um, I guess it depends on how you because if you look if you look at it because there was before there were civil rights laws they were allowed to oppress certain people back right. so civil liberty is bigger than a civil right a civil right kind of comes and says okay we got you got your liberty so everybody can do this but we got to kind of clean this up a little bit sure okay um I I guess. So voting becomes that one that people would look at and go, oh, I get to I, vote. I tend to, I tend to elevate right higher than liberty. And the reason— but rights are given by law. No, Li no. Liberties I, that's, that's are given we, that, by constitution. That, that's where we disagree. I think I look at it differently. I think a right is something that you inherently have. And oh, hold on. We're, but hold on. Bear in mind, we're keeping to law terms. Okay. This is, that, so what I'm getting is I might not disagree with you. Sure, that We sure. have certain rights. Okay. But we're talking about under the Constitution, okay. under law. So according to the definition here, it says civil liberties are rights guaranteed by the Constitution. Yeah, it's, it's those crazy right. words. Yes. So, it's got, so it does elevate right higher. And it says it's a type of a right that is guaranteed by the Constitution. The difference between me and this definition is that I would say that when you have an inalienable right, Nobody is permitted to violate that right, okay? But you but, you, you would but, almost take that no matter where in the world right. you were. But in order to call it a right, uh -huh. for me, because that's still not— yeah, I, I might define it later down in the, the right. document. Yep. But for me, when you define a right, that is something that you have um, concurrently that I have that imposes nothing on me. Okay, so we can look at a civil right. Hang on, here, maybe this is a little bit of a difference. A civil liberty is constitutionally the government cannot do this. Civil rights says there's a law now that says people cannot do this. Like I have civil, I have civil rights that cannot be infringed upon by other people. Never mind the government. Okay. Civil liberties say the government cannot do this. Okay. So it's almost like they made a way to say, okay, this is to keep the government back. This is to keep the people back. Right. Okay. So. The problem is when we talk about from the beginning, we these get kind right. of mixed in back and forth. Right. And now as we're going through this, I start studying this. I'm like, there really is a difference. So right. here's what I want to get it. To get us back to, because, yep. good Lord, Ooh. not all bad, but stuff that, right. okay. So here's what it said. Found this quote. It says, sacrifice is sometimes necessary to safeguard freedoms. And what they're talking about is sometimes you have to give up freedoms to safeguard freedoms. Yeah, I, I totally disagree there. Exactly. Completely. And, and, and I look at this, I go, that makes no sense at all. But you know what's happened? Right. People have started believing that. Yes. The, the, the Patriot Act. Yes. People started believing, oh, yeah, I'll just give this up because it's going to keep the terrorists from doing this. Right. And I'm, I'm a, make that connection for me. Right. Make the connection of you can't do this means the terrorists aren't going to do this. Once again, you need to right. assume that the terrorist is just going to apply it by the laws. Right. You know, oh, well, I can't do this. It, 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 it's taking this idea that, hey, I can be reactionary and that will be enough. Mm hmm Right. It's it's that whole shoe bomber. Right. Yes. Hey, we caught this guy with a wire hanging out of his shoe. Therefore, everybody has to take off all their shoes. And guess what? Now you're safe. But not necessarily because what happens is it's it's the same. Did we talk about bullies a while back? I'll bring that around in a moment. OK. But it's this idea that, OK, we solve the problem. There won't be any other problems. And it's like, no. He will adapt. Yes. The terrorists will adapt. You know, and and I think I think I did it with uh, a, a lone video okay. where I was talking about bullies. There's a video called Bully. Um, it's a documentary, and there's a very interesting clip where this kid he's he got in trouble because I think he retaliated against a bully. I think we did this. Did we? Was it you and I? Yeah. Well, it sounds familiar. Keep, go ahead. Keep going because it sounds so familiar. So he he he's sitting in a chair, and the teacher and the principal's like, "Well, did Johnny sit on your head again?" And he's like, "Well." And he's like all quiet and he's, you know, because he's kind of, kind of getting in trouble. And he's like, well, no, because he, he did other stuff. And then, you know, and so, so I, and what drove me crazy about it is that's exactly how pe the way that people act toward bull about bullies, the way that educators act with bullies is how our government likes to act with terrorists. They respond very react uh, reactionary. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you did this. I will what? address this one thing. Mm -hmm. And then I will limit the person, the person who's being abused in some way, that, right? 
And then I've addressed this one thing, but now the bully or the terrorist is simply going to find some so, new mechanism okay, cool. and to you know do their, their bad that doing. The law abiders will go, oh, I can't do that. Right. And now they're the ones who have now right. suffered inside of right. this. It's, it's the old yeah. saying that if you outlaw guns, only outlaws will have guns. Right. You, and, you know, that and, type of and, thing. And, and so the problem with that thinking, and everybody should understand this if we put it in the context of bullies, is that if I'm a bully and I'm bullying you and the teacher comes and says, Tub, you can't do that. You can't smack him because all she saw was you smack me. Mm -hmm. And then she says, DL, be nice to Tub. Yeah, that's it's a, basically what it ends up that. being, uh -huh. right? And that's like what happens. And and so then you got in trouble. I got a slap on the wrist. And you were anything. really the problem. I was the problem. Mm -hmm. So now you're left with a little bit less ability to defend yourself against me i go and find something else and so maybe i sat on your head this time but next time maybe i throw maybe i throw blueberries at the, your the, head yeah whatever you know, happens whatever, to me, whatever you're, stupid thing so, that happens because right? here's, the, here's the problem that we have unfortunately been trained to believe that we can just we'll surrender stuff in the name of security mm -hmm. well they're only taking this away from us because right. oh it's for our own good right um and, and let me just tell you this I, I i struggle with the idea of saying that government has taking something from us for our own good. Right. It's usually for the good of the government. Oh, yeah, always. And, and, and it tends to stay that way. And that's exactly what we've seen with the Patriot. And I, I mentioned the Patriot because right. this is what he specifically brought up. Yeah. And, and the Patriot has been a perfect example of, yeah. hey, we'll just do this. And people go, oh, okay. And we don't realize that that keeps growing and that keeps doing. Right. And the things that have happened under the guise of the Patriot Act, mm -hmm. I think have done more harm to the people of this country yes. than any terrorist somewhere else. Right. And, and that's the other thing. Because the government isn't very transparent... And, and I'm, I'm not suggesting, I want to be very careful where I'm going with this. The government never comes back and says, here, here. is all the evidence. Everybody, it's open. Feel free to sift through it. And, and you're going to see that we actually delivered. We stopped terrorist acts. Here you go. They never they do never that. Do. And, and you know why I think they don't do that? Because no, they don't I don't, I, don't think I don't think it's there to but give. It's not there. It, it's, right? kind of, it's the idea, hey, who killed Kennedy? Right. Oh, no, no, no. We're st they're still hiding that. Right. It's that same premise of don't worry about it. Trust us. Right. We got it. We're, I mean, trust we us don't know who one. killed Kennedy. We don't know who killed Tupac or Biggie. But we found a guy in a cave in a tiny little... Yep. Uh, and everybody found some dom hiding in the ground somewhere. In a cave. Far. Yes. And you yet, know? We, we can't find two like, guys who were shot in the middle of public, in, in the middle of Las Vegas. Right. We can't find them. Right. But we can find this guy over here. Right. Government and, desire. Right. And and I'm like, and here's the, here's the really funny part. They couldn't find the killer of Tupac mm -hmm. who killed him on U.S. soil. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who was living on U.S. soil, presumably. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right, because we don't know who does. Um, they were li presumably living on U.S. soil, still living on U.S. soil. Mm -hmm. They didn't curtail one single liberty, couldn't find him. Nope, didn't care. Right? They're... But somehow, somebody living on foreign soil, well, well, in a cave somewhere, how, how, they how, were how... able to find him, but they needed to restrict me over For here. here. None of that makes any sense Once again, whatsoever. It, it, is that which one's more profitable? Right. Finding the person who killed a rap artist? Or something that could lead to military action right. in another country. Which one's right. really more? So here, here's the thing. Um, I, I I do want to throw this out there, mm -hmm. just because I know we got to finish up this section. Um, I, I'm going to suggest that we we have limited freedom anyway. We do not possess unlimited freedom. And, and I want to say this is not a political or a libertarian statement. It's more of a I, I, I'm limited by my rights because you have freedoms also. Right. So I can't, I don't have perfect freedom to go do whatever I want because right. I have to respect you and your rights and right. your freedoms. Right. So I think that we always want to be careful. Why should you have unlimited freedom? Dude, no, you don't. Right. Nobody has unlimited freedom because once you come across and you go right. against my freedoms. Right. Okay. It's a, that's a true libertarian right. stance. Do what you right. want. Don't care. But once you infringe on mine. Right. So, and I think that what we have to understand is let us not walk around like fools right. and say, oh, I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. Right. Okay. So we have right. to figure out that in our freedoms, what are we willing to give up? Right. In the name of freedom. Right. And security. And yeah. I think that that's yeah. where all of this comes from. Right. It comes under the idea that we have these civil liberties that, and the premise behind it is government cannot do this to right. you. And the yep. problem is, I think that we would look at them now and go, yeah, but they are. Right. And, and I think the, I think what we need, to, um, you know, since we have this framework of a government, okay, so if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say, and I am, 
I'd rather gonna, you just uh, lie. Uh, nice uh, right, right. Just put some lies right. in this. So uh, in, in being straightforward with people, I will have to admit that if there is a government, there will always be some curtailing of freedom. Yes. There has to be because mm-hmm. you cannot have a government without it. Right. This is why some people are anarchist because they believe that, hey, this is, this is an improper, you know, like you, the government doesn't belong doing that for this very reason. Mm-hmm. Right. Because where does it stop? Right. Where does it stop? Where does it stop? But for many libertarians who say, OK, well, maybe, you know, we have to and they'll have their various reasons for it. They'll say we need the smallest amount of government. And a lot of people who aren't libertarians will say, well, we got to have that. They'll say, well, we got to have some government. Right. Mm-hmm. So the way that, to look at that. Is at the very beginning when I when we were talking about the, when we were comparing like different items from the Bill of Rights, right? Mm-hmm. And I said, well, in this particular case, if we become more expansive, it's still beneficial to the person that's being. Uh, it's directly beneficial to the right. person. When I said, hey, um, freedom from unusual, uh, cruel, and unusual punishment. So what we're doing is we're expanding and saying, okay, we're not going to give you, uh, you know, the nice cushy, um, you know. But we're gonna, lounge, we're, we're not going to make you, you know, know unless you're Martha Stewart. Mm-hmm. But right. <laughs> we're going to we're, we're going to put you in a jail cell. That's not the worst. We're, we're, we're stepping it up a, a notch, mm-hmm. and that's directly benefiting you. Like everybody can see it right away yep. how it's a direct benefit to that person. But when you start curtailing the gun rights, you're actually removing. You're taking a, a direct ben, uh, benefit uh, for the government and against for the, the government people. against the individual. Mm-hmm. And what people need to realize is that the Bill of Rights was. Uh, was designed for individuals. It was not designed for public. So you, so the argument is tends to be like, well, we need to take it away because it's for the public good. But that's not how our own document was written. Right. It was written for individuals, mm-hmm. right? The person. That's why it says, you know, the person, the people. I mean, I know it uses people collectively, but what it, but it, but it effectively means each individual In person, person. Mm-hmm. right, has that right. And um, and that's why the word person is in there, you know, use, you know, you know, however many yeah, times it, they did it. It, it, it. They know that once again, if you allow everything to fall into a group, somebody's right. going to get violated. Correct. Somebody's going to be forgotten. Correct. And so I think we have, right. to, we, we have to govern yep. by individuals. Yep. You know what I'm and, saying? We can't and so when we start mentality. when we start looking at things and we start saying, like, is this OK? Should we have this restriction and limitation? Well, that restriction and limitation needs really to be um, no longer about the group, the collective the uh, the public right it's the and individual. that's where the patriot act falls short uh-huh. right because it it's lumped all us, it lumped everybody into it says in this group. it says you have less liberty because everybody else needs to have this protection yep. oh are we but dealing with that they, right now but then they turn up <laughs> but then we turn around and if you ask for any evidence of that protection there isn't any to give no and so citizens actually should be rising up every day and being like hey when are you getting rid of that Patriot, Patriot Act? Act? Oh, you're not? Okay, guess who's not getting a vote? And you know what? The hell with it. We're going to start the impeachment process, and we're going to remove you now since you're not going to— You know, like, that's what citizens need to be doing. And, and, and I think that that's our bigger issue. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you know, I think that maybe we need to start directing these times that we have together, these times that we spend together. Right. Uh, because I think that we—I think that we, the arguments—okay, the argument's done. Here's right. why. I think we have to start coming to the point where we start saying, okay, what are we going to do about it? Right. Like maybe we need to start sitting down yeah. instead of complain instead of talking about the problem. Because yeah. the problem we laid out pretty extensively, but we didn't give any really good. Hey, wait a minute. Let's attack it like this. There, I there's think, a fix to this. I think one of us. Uh oh. Listen, when I say that around the should church, run I usually for mean, office. Oh, 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 okay. All right, I'm already, I'm already hey. doing that. Here I am. Oh snap! It's already happening. Okay. So I'm going to support you in that run. So I've done something. Were you not until just now? Is that what? Is that, <laughs> like now? Right now, today, I've decided. I'm down for you, man. Yep. We're going to yep. see how hey, this goes. I got the sign in my yard now. You have what sign? It says tubforjacks.com. You do? Yeah, it's in my yard. I didn't see that out there. It's out there. How'd you get a sign? I have my ways. You took it from somebody. I am the chair. The I am the chair of the local party. I have my ways. I didn't, is of it really? I didn't even see the sign? It is out there. I'll take a picture right on the corner. Leave. Right oh. out on the corner, so that because pe- I live on the corner, and so people coming from any direction Just, will be able to see it. I appreciate it. that. And, uh, and that know. was what yesterday you put that. What you put that? When you start supporting um, me after the uh, banquet? Really? That's I got, all. It took? I got it from somebody to took, the banquet. It took me wearing a vest. Did uh, it go no, okay, I, behind this guy now. No, it took somebody actually, you know, having one and getting it to me. I have one in my truck every time I come here. Yeah, I don't think you've ever told me. I thought you would. You don't you see my Facebook stuff? Sometimes. Where's I'm not, my, my local affiliate? I, so right? I am usually on Twitter fighting the good fight. Fighting not the really. good fight. There's no good right, fight on no, Twitter. There's not a good anyway. Fight. So, that's an, that's a different story. So civil liberties. So here, let's wrap this up. I think 
Okay, because we're, we're, we're can, can we agree though that we got to start coming with answers? We do, we okay. do. And so what, what's going to happen? We're on what number seven now? Something like that. We got yeah. like twenty five all together. So I think we're going to start coming with some solutions. Yeah, we're going to we're going to come with some solutions. So y'all going to have to figure out the ones before that. Yeah, all this is still on them. So sorry about that. Uh, but, but, but we're going to do we're going to help you out in the next in the coming. Yeah, I think episodes. that what we can do is this. Let's let's map out a plan that says we're going to give some solutions now. It might not be the total fix. Right. But it is the, okay. We can, now we have a discussion of. This is right. where we start to fix things. Yep. Okay. Yep. So that's what we're going to do. But for now, what the way if you're not, if you're a non-libertarian, the way you want to look at this is you want to and, and, and it's imperfect, right? Like I know that there's if you're a lawyer and you're you know you're a civil liberties lawyer, you might be like groaning. You're like, dude, these guys, these guys, they're all <laughs> over the place. They got it totally wrong, and that's fine. I understand that. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get, kind of get a better understanding and say, like, look, you have civil liberties. The idea of a civil liberty is to protect the individual from the government from overreach. We know that the government will overreach some. That's the nature of having a government. You cannot have a government without some level of overreach. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, what is it doing? Nothing. Nothing. Right? Like, right. And then you wouldn't have, a, have a level of authority. It. Right. So it has to have some level of authority if it's going to exist in the first place. So we, for our, for our non-libertarian uh, viewers and listeners, the way you want to look at this is is this giving me a direct benefit? And we use the example of cruel and unusual punishment versus the Second Amendment, right? And so when we, we become more expansive on one of them, it's actually to the benefit of the individual, but mm -hmm. more expansive on the other one, it is actually to the detriment of the individual because they have less means to defend themselves. And it is inappropriate to say, well, we're going to take from the individual for the benefit of the public. There's multiple reasons for that. The primary reason is because it was designed to protect the individual in the first place. So you simply can't do that. Otherwise, you're disrupting the design of the document, of, of, the, of the whole purpose. The second reason, and this is very, very far down my list. It's the second reason, but it's like way down the list because I don't really like this reason. But it's, I mean, we have to mention it, is that honestly, when we go to protect the public, we probably are just saying that we're doing more protection than we actually are protecting. Mm -hmm. So when we go back and we look for the evidence of what we've actually accomplished, I'm willing to bet that 99 times out of 10, out of 100, you're going to find that it never happened. And that one time you could have probably accomplished it some other way. Yep. So you got any final words? No, we're good, dude. All right. We're good. So that's our episode. Um, it looks like we're up against time here, so we may not get into that other topic. Uh, we'll probably set that up for a, a a second episode or you know an additional episode of some sort. Um, I, I do want to thank everybody for uh, for listening in, and definitely make sure you subscribe, leave a comment from wherever that you are watching, and with that, um, we're gonna be out. That's all for this episode. If you're watching on YouTube be sure to hit that subscribe button and connect with me at Liberty Dad on Facebook, Liberty Dad Pod on Twitter, or send me an email to libertydadpodcast at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. To catch Liberty Dad episodes when they air, head over to facebook.com forward slash free speech media, where the weekly episode airs Monday night at 8 p.m. And while you're there, be sure to check out the other free speech media shows. Prefer an audio format? Then head on over to LibertyDad.com or just search for Liberty Dad, all one word, on your favorite podcast app. Remember, if you're a champion of liberty, your business is people, and your product is liberty. Have a great week. Catch you next time, and I'm out.